Hello, hello, hello. I'll be live. There we go. I'm late today. Had issues with my laptop. I also figured out how to turn the debug menu back on. Apparently it's a game rule now. What? So just going in and doing that didn't work. <laughs> I had to actually figure out how to do it in the game rule settings. That's so messed up. Uh, what were we going to do today? Uh, I do need another chicken. That was the goal when we left off last night. Cows are looking beefy. My one little chicken is very lonely. Do I have... I, do. I could use seeds, which is a good fallback, but I prefer the lead. It's just easier. Of course, leads break, which is annoying. Found that out trying to haul a couple of cows over. Get stuck on any of these little ledges and they just refuse to move. Um, grab the eggs. Thought that pumpkin was floating. Alright. Chicken. Come chicken. Nope. Not what I wanted. Come here. Catch her. Come on. Trust me, you love working for me. Got great death benefits. You die, I eat you and turn you into arrows. Those are the benefits. Come on. This beef used to be a co-worker of yours, your co-worker. Uh, where's the hole? There's the hole. All right, come on. Let's see. How do we get you in? Oh, well, that worked. Mm-hmm. And if I do this, the lead will pop off in there. There it goes. Make another trap door. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but whatever, it'll work. You. Hmm. I need you to be on the bottom. Don't know why this is... There you go. Nope, still no luck with the eggs. Nah, where those go? There they are. You and one for you. Oh yeah, you're a baby. Oop, that was a waste of seeds. Get 
that was me trying to figure out how to get this stupid debug menu to work. Why did they make it a game rule? They could have just made it so that people who aren't in survival mode can't use it. I don't know. Weird. Lovely. Get out of my inventory slot. Thank you. Read up the leather farm. Chicken still not grown. There we go. I think it's about time. To take care of some of these. There we go. Come back. Thank you. Apparently doing it like this makes every single kit a crit. I am not complaining. That looks good. Uh, where's that other trapdoor? Throw that over here in the corner. I was not anywhere near that when you did that. Hey, we are grown up, it looks like. Baby? Baby chicken? We have baby chicken. And now I'm down here. Uh, that farm is up and running. What do we get for leather? The enemy. 1126. Uh, let's see. Paper, paper, paper. There's the paper. And the sugar cane. And planks. Cool. Let's see, I need books first. Brilliant. Did I seriously just do that? Yep. Yep, I did. Okay, throw you in there. Four, three whole bookcases. Yay. Don't need this for anything else, so. Sixteen books and eight bookshelves. Uh, it's not nothing anyway. I would prefer this to be on a top floor somewhere, but eh, whatever. Mm, actually, because busting the bookcases 
messes up. Well, I mean, you only lose the wood. You get the books back. It doesn't matter. I forget if you need silk touch to break this thing. Why don't you do it right here? I'm worried about it. Good enough. Uh, where'd that torch go? Torch. And my outfit. Good enough. Hey, ML. I'll find out when I go to move it. <laughs> One way or another. Uh, what did that get me up to? Uh, 16. Yep. Still need more leather. Hmm. I think. Didn't store any wheat, did I? How you doing today, ML? Don't think I need much more sugar cane. I don't want to clutter this chest up. Like a junk chest. Need those. That looks good. About Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Right there. One more. Okay, well, let's get going. Uh, truffle? Yeah, I'll find it. Finding coal underground is easy. Famous last words. Oh, look, coal right here. Good enough. Really don't need the axe on the bar.
Oh, ML, since you're here. Want to go explore the nether? I did make a portal. Are they doing anything else? I would need like the entire wiki to understand how to do potions anyway, so that's sort of the main reason for going to the nether is to get nether wart. And I know you can make fancy blue fire. I don't see a point to it. It's just more expensive regular fire. There's a whole lot of stuff in the nether update that didn't make a lot of sense to me just because it was so much extra work for so little reward. Oh yeah, all that mess. Uh, I got my debug menu to work finally. It required going in and changing the game rules. They did some odd things in 16. Alrighty, here we go. First time seeing the new nether. Let's see what we've got around us. You know what? Uh, I have gravel and iron on me. Okay, <laughs> I can make a flint and steel if I have to. <laughs> Uh, well, this is different. It's not as red as I remember. Glowstone, magma cubes floating around down there. Lava still loading in. That's a lot of magma cubes. Let's see, what is this? That's lava. That's what that is. Hi. Uh, don't break my portal, please. Nope, stop that. Stop that. Assault, huh? This is why we brought gravel for this. I suppose I don't need the buckets of water, actually. But oh well. <sighs> don't like random pockets of lava like that. That's just rude. Let's see what we got. Where is it? Assault. There it is. What can I do with basalt? I can make polished basalt. What does polished basalt look like? Dead wood is what it looks like. Okay. That's, I can actually think of many uses for that texture. Okay, what's this great black stuff? Can I even mine it? Apparently. Uh, Blackstone. Gee, it's uh, appropriately named. I like the particle effect. See, I knew about the blue mushroom biomes and the red mushroom biomes. I didn't know they were going to do this. This is actually a really cool biome. <laughs> That's gassed. Don't know why I'm going towards the ghast. <sighs> lava. You just you really don't have anything any way to deal with lava in the nether without just a fire resistance potion. Oh, hi. Well, we know the gas can't blow it up. That's good. Hmm. Can they blow up Blackstone? Hey, shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Thank you. Nope, they can't. 
Okay then. He's real hesitant to shoot. Hello. Hmm. Look at this little fellow coming after me. Whoa. What's that? I think that was my keyboard wigging out. Good to know. It's soul sand that goes up. This is the one that brings water bubble columns down. Not much use for that. What, now you want to shoot me? That was fun. Hmm. Whatever. Hmm. What kind of automatic farm? Oh, yeah, automatic farm for basalt, so you can make basalt. Okay. That's it. Can't imagine what basalt would do to automate a farm, but making basalt makes sense. Hi. Broke my sword. Also, you have a really, really long reach. And a lot of health, apparently. Good grief. At least the smaller ones don't have much health. And can't jump very high. How about we eat something? Nope. They got up here. I know the baby ones can still hurt, unlike normal slimes. But man, it made a lot of babies, didn't it? It can still hit me? That's crap. Did I get hit? I got one magma cream for that. <laughs> Not worth it. See, that's cool to me. That looks like like a ruined cityscape or like a fallen spaceship or something. That looks cool. Apparently the only thing in these biomes is magmas. Magma cubes. Good to know. And I can't, off the top of my head, think of any use for any of this stuff. There's no nether fortresses around, so I doubt there's any nether wart. That would have been a useful change. Making nether wart grow wild in the nether, instead of only being nether fortresses. It's usually one of the first sort of customizing things that I do to a world so I had a recipe for crap from the nether like nether work pretty simple to do just regular mushrooms and redstone or something you know get some quartz while we're here waiting on the lava to flow what they do, they hide the lava behind the quartz. Yeah, I mean, they were rare enough to begin with, and now you've added all this other stuff to clutter it up, and I doubt they spawn in these new biomes at all, so that makes sense that they'd be even more rare. No. Oh, hey, it's those little doodads that swim in the ocean. I thought they were magma cubes. They're not. Don't have OptiFine, so I can't zoom in. Well, this has been the nether. I'd go get some glowstone, but it's all in very inconvenient locations. 
Also, is this only one D? Yeah, this is only one. It's a good thing they can't blow this stuff up. This nether portal is in a horrible position. It does look really cool, though. I love this aesthetic. This is this biome I had never seen before. Um, never saw this in any of the videos for the previews for 116. I didn't watch a ton of them. I'd seen the the blue and the red mushroom biomes, and that's it. This is really cool. I like this. I can see myself using these blocks to build with a lot. Uh, can you do anything? Is this this is the basalt, right? So you just make the polish out of this. I swear it looks like it has different textures side by side, which is actually really good. And then sort of cobblestone on top with sort of a wood on the bottom or the sides. That's actually really neat. All right, come back. I still don't see a whole lot of use for the nether. Some cool uh, aesthetic stuff. That's about it. Let me drop some of this stuff off. Although I suppose magma cream is a lot easier to come by now. And I do know about the the netherite, whatever it's called. And it's getting dark. It's uh, better for armors and tools than diamond. Considering how overpowered diamond stuff is, I don't again see another a need for another tier of gear. Just seems excessive. It's what you get for being a llama. Yeah, I've done this really janky mine. And I guess I'm going to mine for the rest of the day. We've got man, a little ways, a little ways to go. I was going to stream something different this morning, but part of the crap with my keyboard was that I couldn't get my controller to work with the game. I know it's supposed to work with the game, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. So, got to work on that. So, happy fun times with Peppy. Last night was rather quiet at work. And yet, even on my quietest days, I still have just bizarre, like, it's a hotel. Okay, it's, it's, it's service industry. There's a script that you follow, and there are certain buttons you push on the computer screen to check people in, and do basically everything. There's a routine for literally everything. And never, not once, not a single person checking in ever goes by that routine. <laughs> it's just every single person is an exception to every rule. It's crazy. And last night, we had a guest in a room that was supposed to be out of order. Air conditioner wasn't working in it. But 
we were sold out Saturday night. And in order to get the full sellout and our bonus, they sold the room that was out of order. Uh, made sure the guests knew that it was, you know, messed up, that the air conditioner wasn't working. Gave them a heavily re reduced discount. Heavily discounted room, there we go, at a discounted rate. And that was it. It was all it was supposed to be. Simple stuff. Come Sunday morning, the people in that room decided to extend their stay. They were only supposed to be there for one night. Nobody checked and noticed that the room rate was like half what it should have been. And it's not our custom to really question guests when they uh, they want to extend. We're like, oh, hey, cool, more money for us. But it turns out the guy whose name is on the room isn't who's actually in the room. It's just the guy who decided to pay for the room. Like, they were all here for a group thing, uh, in this case, a funeral. So they're sort of like distant relatives. And they decided they needed an extra room Saturday night. So he covered it. I don't know why. I don't know any other details besides that. All I know is that he found out last night that they had extended on his credit card. And he was quite annoyed. I wasn't involved in checking anyone in. I didn't do the extension. And yet I'm the one that got yelled at all night for it. <sighs> Love it. And I had to explain to the guy, look, I can't kick them out in the middle of the night. That's illegal. I'm not going to wake them up in the middle of the night. Your name's on the room. Your card is on the room. You're going to pay for the room. <laughs> you can call the people that are in there and get their credit card information and tell them to give it to us. But uh, as of right now, you're paying for the room, fella. He was not happy with me. And I don't really know ex what he expected to happen there, because, I mean, he, yeah, his name was on it. He extended his room, so if, why wouldn't they have extended theirs? It just, he got mad over everything. Like, why did we extend the room? Well, because, you know, they're a guest, and the card was still good. Why would we ask? I don't know. Service industry jobs are weird because everybody has to be a special snowflake. And I don't normally like that word. And yet it's so perfect to describe service industry. You know, good customer service, you want every guest to feel special. You want to treat every guest special and you want them to walk away with a smile. That's great. Until they start making ridiculous demands like, hey... This room is already dirty. It's been taken up. You can't possibly resell it. I don't want to pay for it. Okay, what's your reason? Well, I just don't want to pay for it because I didn't tell them they could stay there. Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's like taking your kid to Walmart and then ripping open the wrapper on something and shoving it in their mouth and then expecting to get away with not paying for it. It does not work. People are very strange. And that's every night, just something different like that, out of the ordinary, that does not follow the script. <sighs> and I like my job. I like helping people. I like making people smile. Water directly over my head. Uh, working third shift is very quiet, usually. I don't get the crazy busy that second shift gets. Like, having to check in eight people at once is not fun. I have had, like, an entire ball team come in on my shift that I had to check in. That was not pleasant. There's nothing in this little cave. Oh. And more to the point, whether I like my job or not, um, I'm very ill-suited to just about 
any other type of job. This is one I can stand and haven't walked out on yet. But before now, the longest I ever held down a job was a little more than two years at a time. Just because uh, I'm not an emotionally stable person. And it does not take much to get me really annoyed. That's why I try my best to sort of zen out when I can. So every job I've had before this one, um, I have literally walked out without notice. Except for one, uh, of all places, McDonald's, I gave a two-week notice to. Go figure. And at the time for each one, I, I felt like I had a very justified reason for walking out. Either they were working me really ridiculous, stupid hours, or they weren't respecting that I had other things to do in my life besides work for them. That was Walmart, by the way, in case you were wondering. One of those... Uh, Hey, we need you to come in this day. Um, you realize I'm a college student and have classes that day. We don't care. Cool, you can find somebody else then. Have fun. Bye. And, you know, they don't miss me. They weren't hurting. They made some other poor minimum wage sap cover the shift, I'm sure. I feel like this is not diamond level. <laughs> I found... Yeah, we found redstone here, so this has to be diamond level. Hey, Sinian. What you doing? Yeah, ML is here too. I imagine this is not a particularly useful hour for you, Sinian. We are just tunneling this morning. This is all we're doing. Oh. Well, that was convenient timing. It's, uh, it's a ravine. I hate ravines. But it's a ravine at lava level, which is very useful. We're not doing that yet. <laughs> uh, hey, naps are useful. If that's how you got to get your sleep, then that works. The more important question rather than quantity is quality. Did you rest well? That is a... Very large lapis vein. They don't normally come like that. There's 21 lapis in a single vein. Good grief. Grumpy. Aww. I'm sorry you're not sleeping well, man. That It's one of those things that you just... You don't really appreciate a good night's sleep if that's all you've ever had. Anybody who's never had insomnia and never had just really crappy sleep schedule, or in our case, work third shift, do not understand what they've got. Oh, if you get bored fast, this is not a good stream. <laughs> All I'm going to be doing right here until I fall in lava. I'm even cheating. I have keep inventory on, so if I fall in lava, I don't lose anything. Alright, well, we've a lot of lapis down here anyway. But I want the other shiny blue rock. <laughs> I have cobblestones.
Yeah, the game looks fun, but it's definitely and uh, it's definitely early. I've watched a couple of people play it, and there's I think like twenty or so different maps or games or whatever you want to call them. They definitely need a lot more, and I think the number one thing that would absolutely send that game like skyrocketing popularity is if they made a level editor and let people create their own levels. I think that would be fantastic. Be a bit like marbles, except first person. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, that is precisely it. Also, apparently VIPs don't get auto modded. Good to know. Which means I have to un-VIP IJS if I want to see him get auto-modded again. Hmm. Yep. Close that off. Stupid lava. Yeah. So I know we're on diamond level, and there are no diamonds here. That sucks. A series of unfortunate events happened just then. No mods, huh? Yeah. I actually modded Kaylee just to see what would happen, and within five seconds she timed out IJS just instantly. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's that's the crew we run with right there. Yeah, well this ravine is useless. I've yet to really comment on that, at least in front of them. It's cool, though. I'm glad they're happy and enjoying each other. Uh, with my single torch, I'm out of torches. I have a ton of coal, though, so we're good. There we go. Uh, used up both my pickaxes. Uh, I hate to waste diamond pickaxe on just rock, but yeah, whatever. It helps if I actually put them in my offhand. <laughs> well, I mean. They live very far apart, so anything more than platonic relationship isn't really going to work at the moment. But it would be really cool if, like, a whole bunch of our little group could get up, we could meet, meet up and hang out. But, yeah, we are all over the place. I see shiny blue rocks. Ooh, a nice little cave. Lava. Nope. Well, that pays for the diamond pickaxe if I break it. Oh, yeah, that's that. Uh, I rarely ever see one without the other nowadays. Uh, Kaylee was in my morning stream yesterday where IJS was asleep. And then she actually went to bed early tonight during his stream. So, 
which is weird. I don't think she's working right now, so not like she has a official bedtime or anything. Oh look, another useless ravine. Death traps with nothing to reward you for them. One of the things I always did when uh, custom worlds were still a thing, I disabled ravines. I don't like ravines. Uh, yeah, they knew each other before they all started streaming, though. That's a really wide lava lake. And that's a that's actually a strength. You know, if you've got real-life friends that can come hang out in your streams. I wouldn't know what a real-life friend is. <laughs> uh, that is not true. Uh, I have a very few select friends that are just as weird as I am that I love and appreciate very much. They do not, however, play Mario Maker. <laughs> so they've never been in a stream with me before. Uh, real life, yeah, that, it's that, uh, I, you know what, I got nothing. I'm just, yeah, not even gonna try. I don't know. I'm at this point I don't really have the streaming bug. Like I I could not see myself doing this every single day or even on a fixed schedule. But uh it, it's it's okay. Uh, depends on what you want to use the iron ore for. Like, if you're a power player, then that's kind of pitiful. But uh, if you're just a casual, you know, enjoying the game, want to make you set a set of tools, then yeah, that's pretty good. 25 iron should do every tool, I think. Plus a decent set of armor. Mm-hmm. So the first time they implemented fire spread in this game, uh, like even cobblestone would burn if it was next to lava. <laughs> what? I this was, yeah. I want my torches back. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Oh, am I full up? I am full up. Uh. Bye bye. Where was it? Um, actually, okay, so if that's lava level, that's 10, that's 11. I'm actually on 12. So I should probably be one lower than I am. But, eh, whatever. I don't know why I'm still doing this. I'm full up on inventory space. See you up there, Creeper. I ain't gonna bother with you. Pixels, huh? <laughs> I just saw that scene. Yeah, I can't run because I'm out of food. Yeah, my sister isn't fond of this game. Specifically because of the blocky nature of it. 
Uh, don't. I, I I think it's got a certain charm, being all blocky like this without high fidelity. Uh, I don't particularly care about graphics in a game myself. Like, in fact, I'm I'm not particularly fond of hyper realistic games. I, I prefer more cartoony stuff. Uh, mm, no comment. <laughs> so not I, I can understand like there are some of those like RPG maker games with truly horrendous awful graphics that I just can't get past but for the most part I don't really care and blocks make sense to me this 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 makes sense Things like uh, even Final Fantasy games. Um, I have a hard time sometimes seeing the things I'm supposed to be able to see to know where I'm supposed to go, so what I'm supposed to click on. Uh, it's a, it's like for on a 2D plane for whatever reason. Um, it's just it's all it's like super flat to me. I have no depth perception or anything when it's drawn. I don't remember placing this here. This seems out of place. Did I place this here? Did I accidentally spam click a gravel block? Oh, it's there forever now. <laughs> Llamas. I think since I've captured this one and used it as a, uh, a scarecrow, I haven't seen any more llama since then. So I think it's working. Let me get some seeds. Three chickens. And get the cobblestone cooking. Because I want lots of smooth stone. Uh, ray tracing. Is that like actual sunbeams and stuff? Or is that just a the term they use? Oh, well, I'd have to turn those off anyway, because uh, while my graphics card is decent, it was only okay about 10 years ago, <laughs> so <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing fancy these days. Still the best computer I have ever owned by miles, simply because it has a dedicated video card. Something I've never had before this one. Spin some cobblestone to make one more furnace. Yeah, hey, uh, my next upgrade. I really need to talk to Comcast about getting better internet. I don't know that it's possible where I'm at. Uh, oh, well, that's a nice even number. I think I have the best I can possibly have where I'm located just because the lines are that old. And they refuse to update them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The, the the first Minecraft stream I did, I attempted to lower the bitrate down to 1,000. I've been advised against that in the past, but I decided to try it anyway, just to see if I could avoid dropped frames. And I'm sitting here, uh, I'm at 1250 bitrate on this one. I meant to up it before I got started today, just to see what I can tr try. I have zero dropped frames, so that doesn't seem to be an issue with Minecraft. Uh, what was my CPU usage? 8% on the CPU, so I feel like I could go up on the bitrate and make the video look a little bit better. And I've listened back uh, to the VODs 
I'm pretty happy with my sound quality, considering this uh, is a built-in microphone headset, and it cost me 30 bucks. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's just the bit rate that I need to improve right now. I imagine more intense games, anything that requires more graphic processing would murder my frame rate with an improved bit rate. Look at me talking like I know any of this stuff. I have no idea. I'm just guessing at this point. Any of this finished? Hmm. Yeah, Sinian, you're absolutely correct. Uh, <laughs> but at 1000, trust me, it looked pretty bad. Anytime I did, anytime I did this, you couldn't see anything. It was just, it was a blur of colors. Just, just moving the camera. <laughs> uh, there are mods that improve the visuals. Some that actually create like 4K textures on some of this stuff, which is insane. But it still blocks. <laughs> and I see them and they look ridiculous to me. Having super high def textures on a block. And I think this is what, uh, 16 by 16 is what they go by. Um, I like the 32, 32 by 32 pixel texture packs. Those look pretty good. Hmm. But I figured, yeah, not much point in a texture pack for a stream that Probably ain't gonna stick around very long. I gotta figure out what I want to do for the second story of this. And obviously something on the floor. I don't want the floor to be wood because the ceiling is wood and the walls are wood and it would just be wood overload. I actually have this problem. Here we go. Real life talk. In the cabin that I'm Fix, uh, fixing up. I mean, it's got particle board floors, so I've got to put down a floor. Mm. And I don't know when the last time you went floor shopping is. It's hard to find flooring that is not wood grain. Even when it's plastic flooring, it's wood grain. And I'm like, come on, people. Wood is not that cool of a thing. So, um, I actually have a ton of tile, tileable flooring that is wood grain. It is cherry wood grain. I don't particularly like it. I don't like the color. It's like that, but red. But it's what I've got, and it's free. So I'm not going to say no to it. That was a finger glitch. I'm going to use it, put it down, so I've got... Wood on the floor. Already going to have wood on the floor. Uh, the, the, the walls I have a bit more control over. But there are rafters on the lofts that are, you guessed it, wood. There are rafters in the ceiling. It's a cathedral ceiling with like a half inch piece of plywood on top and a piece of metal over top of that. I don't have any room to do anything up there. And there are rafters made of wood. So I look online at all of these cool little cabins that people have worked with and built. And what they do is wood on the floor, wood on the walls, wood on the ceiling, wooden cabinets that are stained, wooden countertops that are stained or clear coated, wooden cabinets. It's just wood grain everywhere, everywhere wood grain and a set of antlers on the mantle. And I don't want any of that. Especially the antlers. The antlers spook me. They're like llamas. I just... Yeah. Get creative. So 
So right now my plan is I've got the cherry floor. That's red. I had wanted to do one of my walls in white oak paneling. It's not actual oak paneling. It's uh, pressed particle board and, you know, with a piece of paper over it, glued onto it like wallpaper that looks like white oak. Finger glitch. <laughs> okay. If we ever have a Team Donuts Minecraft server, we've got to do that to, to somebody. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Just make the house smaller every time they leave. But yeah, I was going to have the, the white oak. So it's sort of like, it's it's not solid white. It's white with wood grain. Yes, wood on the wall. That was the plan. But the plan was also not to have wood on the floor at the time. Uh, so I now have wood on the floor. I can't get away from wood on the floor. The wood on the wall probably won't happen. The other wall, I've got two long walls because it's, you know, 10 feet wide corridor that's 32 feet long really awkward dimensions. I really wish it was 12 feet wide, but 10 feet wide is what I've got to work with. The other wall, I was going to paint sage green because I love sage green. It's one of my favorite colors. Unfortunately, uh, if you've been keeping up, the floor is red. Red floor. Red floor in the cabin. Red floor. And a green wall. Yep, I, I don't want to live in a Christmas house, so my green wall is also out. This this, this flooring that I have been given, it's about $2,000 worth of flooring, so I can't say no to it. It's just ruined everything. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do now? Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I hadn't thought this far ahead. You know, it's, it's, it's what do you do with your life? Red floor, yes. My cabin. The, the cabin that I've been talking about. There's a red floor in the cabin. Well, there's going to be. As far as this, I have the same problem. I've got wood on the ceiling. I've got wood on the walls. I don't want wood on the floor. I don't know what to put down here. It's why it's still grass. <laughs> I've considered, like, polished diorite. Polished diorite's not that bad. But that's, uh, you know, sort of marbly. I mean, eh, no, just, just no, I don't like that. Uh, where's the andesite? Or granite, sorry. <clears throat> Burn the diorite. <laughs> I am not Iskel. I don't have a problem with diorite. Uh, the unpolished diorite is definitely bird poop. Very dry throat. Excuse me. But the polished diorite looks pretty good. Like I said, I mean, it looks like marble. It's not that bad. Uh, what does this look like? <sighs> it kind of goes with the wood. I don't know. What else we got? We got sandstone. We got plenty of sand. Sandstone goes with oak pretty good. That's a particular genre I am unfamiliar with. And then I don't think andesite in any of its forms is different enough from smooth stone to make a difference. Like, yeah. oh, well, uh, there we go. Like, it goes really well with smooth stone and even the brick there. But the walls are brick. I don't want the floor to be brick as well. Yeah, I hate to say it. The cobblestone is growing on me. A stack of iron and 12 diamonds in two days. 
Steal villagers' houses. Yes. Uh, the best possible way to start a survival world is to loot a village. Absolutely. There are no villages around me. Um, there is prairie surrounded by forest. Rude forest. That's it. And way over in that distance over there, uh, I got lost and found a birch forest. Which I promptly turned around and left because it's a birch forest and nobody likes birch. Now, birch fences and birch trap doors are really good for like little scrimshaw and stuff on the corners, little decorative bits. But uh, anybody that builds a wall out of birch is as crazy as building it out of like unpolished diorite. It's, it's birch planks. Look awful. Keep <laughs> myself into two caves. Yeah, there you go. See, that's that's what I need. I, I need to do a multiplayer server with ML and just have ML do all the caving. Let's see. Gravel is something to watch out for. It will get you if you are not prepared. Uh, I very nearly died in one of the earliest streams because I updated gravel I was standing on and fell into a cave. Wait, why is there that much coal in there? I don't need that much coal in there. And Okay, three stacks of smooth stone on its way. What I really need to un figure out is what I want to divide this floor into. Down the game, log in. Five minutes later, log out. Delete the game and never ever touch it again. <laughs> now, um... Sinian, is it just the blocks that are bothering you with this game? Because <laughs> uh, how I play is not how most people play. And what is your goal? Exactly. Uh, my goal in the game is to zen out and just you know, enjoy myself. That, that's, that is my goal. Not to build a cool house. It's not to build farms or... Raid a village. It's not to go kill the end dragon and get the the game over screen. I don't care about any of that, which is the beauty of Minecraft. You can go do all of that. It's there. You can go hog wild on combat and go crazy on building. People build insane things, even in survival mode like this, where you have to farm all of the materials. People can build some really cool stuff. Uh, Good times with Scar doing the underground shopping district during Hermitcraft Season 5, I think. It was 5. That was crazy. I mean, you're talking millions of blocks that he dug out just to build a tree in the middle of it. <laughs> and it looked phenomenal. I can't do that. I don't have the patience for it. I do this most often, just run around with no real goal. Waiting on things to cook. Hmm. I've decided that the staircase is going to have to be over here. Just, just made that call. It is made. Ooh. And the staircase, I mean a ladder, because there's really not enough room for a uh, thing over there. You can play modded Minecraft, uh, which has like super crazy tech trees, the massive redstone that I do not like and can't get into. Um, so I can't even explain it to you. It's 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 like math, but with dust. Yeah, it, it, it's yeah. 
uh, the mod pads add like actual technology, like electricity and uh, oil refineries. The big one being jetpacks. Everybody wants jetpacks uh, just to fly around. And it comes pretty close once you've automated everything to the creative mode, which is you don't have to farm for anything. You have every block imaginable at your fingertips. You just press a button and you have a full inventory of them. Uh, yeah, there's there's an actual end boss. There's the, the end dragon and the, the wither, like ML says, yeah. Uh, they don't give you anything? <laughs> Like, the weather gives you beacon effects, which are the best buffs in the game. But you don't need them to play. It just makes what you already do better. So I was telling ML about the, the additions to the Nether. They look phenomenal. They look amazing. Um, and as decorative blocks, they're going to be great. Functionally, I don't know that they were necessary. That's not true anymore, ML. You can immediately leave the little island that you spawn on. Just, like, build your way out if you're insane. And just go find an elytra and an airship manually. Killing the dragon is so much easier, though. You kill the dragon, go through the portal, and there you are. And hopefully there's an end city and a boat with an elytra. <laughs> you played on bedrock? Yeah, I don't I don't know enough about bedrock. I, I don't know how you get elytras there. Did they just drop from the dragon in bedrock? I know Hermitcraft did that in one season where killing the dragon dropped an elytra. I think when I did the custom JSON files for recipes, I made a recipe that was just like leather surrounded by phantom membranes to build your own Elytra, which you know, that honestly makes sense to me. I have my pizza oven it's right here. This is my pizza oven. Right now it's cooking stone because, you know, that's what pizza ovens do. It's actually a blast oven. Uh, I don't know that you can make a blast oven. I think you have to go find one. If you can make it as a recipe, I certainly don't know. Uh, I got all this wood for a reason. That's it. That was other mouse button. There we go. 36. That's good enough. And then letters. How many ladders? Can I put 15 ladders. That is too many ladders. I don't need that many ladders. I'm going to make all of them. Mm. I think one, two, three, four, probably 10. Uh, yeah, I don't like those. How about what do dark oak trapdoors look like? Uh, chocolate bars. Oh, yeah. Surround a furnace with iron. Uh, you know what? I can test that. Furnace? Nope. <laughs> That's not the recipe here. Uh, search. Blast. Smithing table. That is deceptively simple for a smithing table. What the heck does a smithing table do? Uh, upgrade? What are we upgrading? That, that does nothing. Oh! Wait, no, I, I do know what this does. You put diamond gear in here and that stuff from the nether, the netherite. Yeah, diamond and netherite. 
so four pieces of wood and two iron ingots for the latest possible in-game gear. <laughs> that that thing is way under costed. It should be like a lot more. It should cost like a, more than the anvil. Do I have any other type of Oh dear. I'm gonna have to go do the thing, aren't I? We're gonna have to cut down a birch tree. Just because I cannot remember what birch trap doors look like. I can't remember if they're worth it. Let's find out. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Birch planks, worst wood in the game. That's saying a lot, because uh, I even like the jungle planks. And they're pink, for crying out loud. What does this look like? Hmm. It's not awful. I do, is it on this side that I have to be on? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not horrible. <laughs> I love that. That because that makes so much sense. All right. So we found a use for birch. Six trap doors from all that. Oops. Place this here. It's on the wrong side. I want it to be on this side. Yep, there we go. Hmm. You're a happy face, huh? I like the Sackboy emotes. I really do. I think it's a shame that none of the very, very generous people in the Mario Maker community never came around and got you up to 50 subs to unlock all your emotes. Uh, I need another axe. Help if I had enough sticks for it. Because, like, I mean, IJS didn't get it all at once, but some other people on it, like uh, Code Phoenix, I still catch a few Code Phoenix streams here and there. And he's a nice guy and all, but without uh, Teal Pixel, he would have, he would not. Have unlocked his uh, emote slots by now. I don't think he would have hit 50 subs by now. He might have if he'd stuck with Mario Maker, but he did not. Get up there. And you know, I applaud his decision for uh, not playing Mario Maker when he got tired of it. It uh, murdered his. <laughs> uh, apparently, I don't. What do you mean you can't raid me? You're trying to raid me with a party of yourself. That may not work. Don't know. I was unaware that you could turn that off. Eh, something else I have to look into. Let me not do this. Uh, tons of 
tons of these things, and none of them are where I need them. needs to be back one. Fortunately. I left stuff up there. That's fine. I don't know, Sidian's talking about uh, not being able to raid me, apparently. Uh, the, apparently that's a thing. That's where I want it. Oh, come on. That makes no sense. Not to raids in that link. So fun fact, watching this through OBS, I don't see the links. Also, hey Roy Roo, how you doing? Oh, that's just rude. Uh yeah, I assume it's a setting somewhere. I'm gonna have to break the glass. I might can do it from right here. Get, get in the window. Nope, I am in the space that's that's trying to occupy. This is my number one problem with survival right here. Not being able to play stuff and then having to break stuff and replace it. Oh, uh, probably. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try it on mobile. I know better than that. Do, do, do. Settings, where you at? There you are. Clips, profile banner, profile settings. Don't think it's on this link. Validation mode turned on. Yes, that's gonna stay. Uh, hosting priority, host list, raids. Block all raids is checked. Yes, you're correct. Uh, for now, we'll set it to all so that uh, Roru can say he's got his thing fixed. There we go. I don't know if that takes effect while I'm streaming or not. Did that save? I hate settings menus that don't have a save function. It seems redundant. Okay, there we go. It's fixed, in theory. I think I turned that off forever ago. Well, no, because Savco raided me. So I don't know why it was turned off. There we go. Need that back, please. Thank you. I don't have to break the glass. I'll just break the wall because that makes sense. Where are my blocks? Hmm. 
gonna make an issue up there, I think. Letters. Oh, it's 10.30. Yeah, well, I mean, it works. It's just gonna be a little weird. There we go. Uh, rated and hosted. Yes, that did work right. Thank you. And the alert box should have gone off. There you go. Uh, I've already done that, though. Actually, technically, no. I did not see my uh, bedrock. I ran into diamonds and knew I was at the diamond layer and stopped there. Because why would you go any lower? Thank you, Roy. Thank you for the follows. Believe my shout out function actually works now. Yes, check out our cool buddy Roy. There you go. Because, you know, I imagine everybody coming from a Roy Roo raid would already be following Roy Roo. I didn't realize you were still streaming this late. Hmm. I mean, if y'all really want to see Bedrock, I can go down my mineshaft and dig, like, four blocks more. <laughs> Trying to get two implies you did not do it. I could dig straight down because I actually have keep inventory on, so it would not matter if I fell in lava. Just say. I turned keep inventory on to protect myself from the lava and in llama invasion. The llama invasion was real. And Nope, well. Isn't that one? There we go. Back to game. There we go. What? What is where you in S for? Yes, it's, it's very, very casual. So what did you end up uh, stopping at, Roru? What was your clear out? Oh, you actually made it to 1500. Okay. You said trying, and I, I, I figured you just ran out of time or got sleepy or something. What do you think? Why do y'all people want me to dig down? Uh, well, hang on. I have the shovels. I can do that. Send me a bit of durability and go down here. I'm going to do it over here. Because uh, I don't want to accidentally fall in this hole later. What do I win if I get to bedrock without hitting lava? Yep, yep, we lost. We hit lava. Uh, it's my second death of the stream. Although I'm not going to count that one. It's funny because that was literally bedrock. <laughs> you saw the bedrock. <laughs> Made it all the way to bedrock before hitting lava. That's funny. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, we've got a nuclear wasted. 
Also, hello again, Kaylee J. Hmm. Nope. Hey, hang on, hang on. Nope. Not, not yet. Don't take me to my death yet. I saw something. Uh, I also see the creeper. Yeah, I hear you, creeper. I saw that. I saw that on my way down. Come here. Yep, there you go. Free mining. There we go. Well, digging straight down at least netted me more diamonds. I have... Absolutely no idea how to get back up. Yep, yep, yep. Skeleton. Right, yep, thank you. I'm down to my last piece of beef. And the skeleton will never take me alive. That's how you get back to the surface. <laughs> ML and I on the same page. Yeah, I tend to play more casually. Uh, just building my house. Haven't decided what to do for the second story yet. Got this dinky little tower over here. My uh, llama scarecrow, who is currently warding off all other llamas, because you know he's shouting at them that they will be enslaved. Ha! <laughs> Get auto modded. Yeah, I get lost in caves so easy, ML. I also bought mine in Alpha. Uh, well, I'm have to un un have to fix that later. I bought it right at, like, right before it moved into beta. Oh god, the Halloween update. Uh, yeah. The nether was really cool for the... for the. Uh... <laughs> Get modded, Nuck. <laughs> uh, let me fix that. Uh, I'm going to be lazy with the fix. And do it this way. There. Now the rules no longer apply to you. Yeah, that's that's Nux's entire thing is getting getting automated. <laughs> Timed out. The first sunrise and sunset. Yeah. But yeah, the, the nether looked really cool. The thing I remember most about the nether update though was they made a very small change in the spawn habits of hostile mobs and in theory it was really cool it was uh the lower down you go so the closer to bedrock the higher light levels that mobs could spawn in but they didn't really think it through and uh Notch was a one-man team back then, so you can't blame him for not knowing everything and not getting everything perfect. But he broke the spawning algorithm, and mobs at bedrock level could spawn in broad daylight and <laughs> not burn. <laughs> so you could not ward caves or mines against mobs. They would just spawn right on top of you. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of talk of that. And they keep bringing that up in like dev discussions about having an infinite light source and making torches not renewable. But I, it would just break the game. You you need permanent light sources in this game if you're going to play in survival mode. But I mean, honestly, you've got jack o' lanterns. You've got redstone torches or redstone lanterns. They could make lamps. Uh, make torches burn out and force you to do redstone lamps. That's. 
I don't off the top of my head remember the recipe for redstone lamps. I can't remember if it requires glowstone or not. But if they made it to where it didn't require glowstone, didn't require going to the nether, if they just like say redstone with a torch and maybe a redstone torch and some glass, and that made you a redstone lamp that was infinite, but it required a redstone torch to power it. That would be something. Then they could get rid of torches. Thank you, Kaylee. Yeah, my, my brown chocolate roof. I've yet to decide what to do on the floor. It's, it's just considered a shag carpet for now. <laughs> See, we've been experimenting. I, this is I don't know that I like the polished diorite. That reminds me too much of a museum marble. And then the, the granite looks pretty good against the dark oak. Oh, that's, that's the lead right now is that. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've noticed or not, not, but I delete all of my pet pictures when I post them. They stay up for about a day and then I delete them. I'm funny like that. I don't, I just, I don't like them being up too much longer than that. Ah, the llama. Oh yeah, go back and look. None of my photos are still up. Like the photo I took of myself to show to IJS and Kaylee and some other people, uh, it, it lasted like an hour before I took it down. <laughs> Showing off my newly shaved head. Uh, I mean, technically I have a webcam. I could do a face cam. I did face cam for Sinian's talk show. Unfortunately, I don't have like a green screen or anything and the wall behind me, I, I literally just tried to point behind me in game with the mouse cursor. Uh, the wall behind me is currently all kinds of cluttered and like covered in stuff. I, I think, yes, there is there are actual dirty clothes on the couch behind me. So no, no, no webcam. Uh, what else? I was going to try sandstone for the floor. The... But hang on. Now, everything else you put four of in, you get four of back out. Why is sandstone special? Fine, we'll do it this way. Uh, you know what, let's go over here where it will actually make a difference. Your cat is cute. You know what? I like that. Not too bad. Nothing in my house will match. It's just gonna have a dark, a dark ceiling, stone and wood walls, and cobblestone or sandstone floor. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be so tacky. Yeah, I think that's sort of how how it works, Roy. I think it's because uh, you can further condense this. Come here. I don't know how much you know about Minecraft. I've never seen you play it on stream. Because you can do that and make cut sandstone. It has the exact same texture on top, so using it as a floor, this is pointless. Well, that's good. I like that you play Minecraft. I don't know why, but I like that. Or at least played it in the past. Thank you, Elmore, for following. Ow. Need a better way down than that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I, I thought about what to stream if I was going to get back into streaming. I saw Chesterfield and Baby Spug. I want to say both of them were streaming Minecraft, and Minecraft was 
on my like suggested viewers thing at the time. I was like, that's a lot of Minecraft, and I kind of want to play again just to start a new world. Starting a new world is honestly the most fun for me. So I was like, I can stream Minecraft because it's good to pick it up and because I, I could leave the stream right now and go to bed or have to go because at the time I was streaming and going to have to go to work. So I needed to be able to just leave. Like, you know, most games you're in an action scene or in a battle or something. You can't just save and leave in the middle of the battle. But Minecraft, you can just drop at any given time. So it's really handy and really convenient for that. And yeah, I don't really care. I, mean, I do need to keep up uh, the three viewers and your raid helped a lot with that. I don't know if they count for that. No, they don't count for that. Never mind. But uh, I do need to keep up the three viewers. My views per stream have dropped because of the Minecraft, I think. But yeah. Confirm that they do f ah for affiliate. Okay, that would make sense. So in that case, they're helping a lot. That makes no sense. Well, I mean, I've never seen a raid where everybody stuck around after the raid. That's perfectly all right. Yeah, I mean, the lurkers are lurking, so they don't care what you you you're doing, but. I'm not really playing the game right now. I'm just talking. <laughs> and Minecraft's not for everybody. Uh, Sinian was talking about it earlier. You know, he he didn't particularly like the 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 open endedness of it. There's no real goal. Eh, maybe. Like I could open up uh, RPG and radio and have video game music playing. Yes, I really wish, like, World of Warcraft doesn't matter where you go unless you manually turn the music off. It will not shut up. Hmm. Like, what do I want to do for the transition here? Like, this is first floor. I've got the floor slash ceiling right there. Do I want to continue the stone break up? You know, decisions. I do know I want to go in. I don't want the second floor to be the same floor footprint. <laughs> hey, I don't know how that happened. Because <sighs> I, I remember turning it off... Um, when I was not streaming. Ow. And. I, I must have turned it back on. Because Savco raided me. On my first day streaming. And at the time. I did not know who Savco was. <laughs> you can turn off raids. Apparently it's a setting. In the community section. Of the Twitter settings. I have no trouble whistling. Uh, I can't keep a tune, but the actual act of whistling, I have no trouble doing because I have a massive gap in my front teeth and air just goes right through it like nothing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just jumping around at this point. Uh, I was actually supposed to stop the stream 15 minutes ago, so y'all are getting bonus stream at this point. Hey, you know what? You know what? Okay, polished basalt doesn't work. But this stuff. Looks like cobblestone. That makes some epic path blocks, just saying. I do like the blackstone. That's a really good block. Let's go get more of that. Can you do a, like, condensed blackstone? Is that a thing? Yeah, bonus stream time.
This is the leather farm. Slash hot tub. Slash spa. That's the sad pit of chickenness. <laughs> I had never seen the nether update. I've seen a few videos on 1.16. So I'd seen the the blue mushroom and the red mushrooms. And then I popped into the nether for ML. And this is my nether. <laughs> right out in the open over the low ocean. But it's this biome. And I had I've I'd never seen this. This was in no video I saw. I had no knowledge of basalt or blackstone. I'd n I have no idea what any of this is, or what you can use it for. I know the polished basalt looks like a wood block, which is cool. It looks like dead wood, more so than acacia. So this was pretty cool, walking into the Nether and finding this. this very different than I'm used to. Oh yeah, I also do not see better Twitch TV emotes in OBS. I don't think they're enabled on my stream anyway, but... Okay, that's, that's a lot of... You can make polished blackstone. That is what I wanted to see. Um, hmm. Flint to go bye bye. What does this look like? Uh, yeah, no. Um, I finally broke down and enabled better Twitch TV in my browser. And yeah, some of the some of the options like being able to see when a channel was first made. When an account was first made, that's really cool. Makimoki? Never heard of them. Thirty-two polished blackstone. What does this look like? I like the cobblestone better. What even is this texture? That is so busy. Like it's, it's I think they were going for a marble texture with it and it just, I mean, what does this remind me of? Huh. This reminds me of something I can't think of what it is. <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, there we go. Either way, I don't particularly like that texture. Just go ahead and cook all of that. Uh, I didn't want to try better Twitch TV. I don't like any of the emotes. Not one single one caught my fancy. But like I said, the extra added functionality to it, the, it highlights messages, the whole message when you somebody uses your name. Uh, that helps me a lot to catch when people are talking to me. More so than just highlighting my individual name because that, that looks like a highlighted message to me. How it's sitting bright pink on mine for some reason. I haven't bothered to see if I can change that or not. I gotta get rid of this. I don't like this texture. Like this texture is legitimately unsettling to me. Made a furnace, never flopped it down, was gonna cook meat in here and completely forgot. Oh, here's the the, the polished basalt. Like it's got the the wood grain texture on the sides and the what do you call it yeah the the, the circles 
<laughs> this one I this one I like. I can actually see myself using this for things. What does it look like? Sort of. Uh, that's iffy. Hmm. Oh, oh, that takes a long time to break. And you can't break it with iron. Oh, it's because it's still technically stone. I'm an idiot. Nobody saw that. That didn't happen. I've got to clean up my inventory. Uh, Roy, your your name is is, yeah. Yeah, don't get too many false positives on Peppy. Uh, Roy Koopa is a character in Mario games. So, yeah, it's it's worse still. Roy plays Smash and there's a character named Roy in Smash. So just about everything he plays. <laughs> well, if I keep playing, I'm going to do a dirt outline for the second story, so. I don't know, it's almost 11 o'clock. I actually need to get to bed. Nuck doesn't pay attention in most streams, I found. <laughs> Nuck is an agent of chaos. So. 11 a.m. Hey, I'm an anarchist, so Agents of Chaos automatically get brownie points with me. Like, if, if I wasn't, like, so opposed to the establishment and, and the man, I think Duck would be a fine leader for the anarchist movement. <laughs> Nuck just has a filter in her head for uh, IJS streams. All she sees is the be, be right back screen, screen. I put this stuff in here ages ago. It's not done cooking. Wow. I actually would love to see Nuck make levels in Mario Maker. Just, just to see the what the thought process would come up with. And then force Contra to play them. Roy, you've played my original levels. You know what I'm all about. No, we're not doing that. A well, spoiler alert, eventually, like twenty twenty one. Super Peppy World will eventually come out. About the time everyone's interest in uh, Mario Maker will have completely died down.
And World 7 of Super Peppy World is Garma Land. <laughs> oh, you see my box so far. It's just sort of random. I had hoped to get uh, my Super World uploaded by the one year anniversary of the first levels I uploaded. That is not going to happen. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff I would love added to Super Worlds and the uh, options to do them. But uh, the fact that they exist at all is something of a miracle. Like I said, uh, a good DLC pack, paid for DLC pack for Mario Maker would include, you know, you, you theme the DLC. And you say, okay, we're going to have a theme for Super Mario Brothers 3. And this DLC will only have Super Mario Brothers 3 style stuff in it. Like the spinny platforms from Skyland. And an enemy, one enemy, Boss Bass would be awesome that you could use in all styles. I mean, it's not just SMB3. They just originated from SMB3. But it would also come with, like, for the Super Worlds, you could pick Pipeland as a theme or Darkland as a theme. Yes, that's, that is exactly why I want Boss Bass. <laughs> like, I think the first time I saw that was a Barbarous King stream of all people. Uh, my ban list for my, my, my Twitch channel consists of entirely Barbarous King. And he was doing a charity event that, and he, he severely underpriced that. The the boss bath, uh, yeah, boss bath attack. I think it was at like ten coins or something because he didn't know the name of the mob. By the end of his stream, he had jacked that all the way up to ten dollars per boss bath, and people were still spamming it. And he raised a lot of money. I don't know what the charity was for, but he raised a lot of money that way because it was a guaranteed kill. You'd get to the end screen, somebody would redeem it, he'd hit the goal and die immediately. How does he break it? Is it the, the corruption of the sprite or does he just not work anymore? That's weird, because I didn't see anything like that in Barb's stream and a couple others I've seen, but it, those are fairly old at this point, so a million different things could have been updated and changed since then. Uh, that one. What? Oh, I've already got them. Oh. Literally on my hot bar. Go away. That's a shame. Because I've been looking at... I'm working on World 2 of Peppy World right now, and it's jungle themed, so all of the levels have water in them. And I was looking at trying to sort of emulate the SMB3 uh, boss bass stages that sort of rise up and down in the water, and you have to avoid him. There's not really anything like that outside of 
uh, 3D World's Porky Puffer. And I have the Porky Puffer reserved for a very special level later on, so I didn't want to use him yet. So I think most of the jungle levels in Peppy World are, like, all of Peppy World is basically just platforming levels. I, I, I won't say traditional. Uh, I don't think any of my levels are particularly traditional, but they are platforming. As far as my hot bar goes, my hot bar is totally random. My, I now have meat on the floor. My inventory is completely random. I just mouse wheel back and forth between things. Like, smart me would have put those two things beside each other when I was digging straight down, because that would have made sense. But uh, me being me, they were all the way apart. And every time I had to transition, I would just mouse over them. Uh, the only thing that really matters is that the llama is in captivity and has been liberated from his capitalist overlord. Uh, yeah, you have offhand. I like that it's the shield icon specifically because they're like, hey, make a shield. Also, hi, this is me. I have pizza on my shirt. And have had since 2009. Uh, and I only ever use it for torches. Like, torches are the only thing that will ever be in my offhand. <laughs> and then I do that a lot because, yeah, small muscles. How do they work? Fingers. I twitch a lot. But no, I, I, I will legitimately accidentally click while I'm just resting my hand on the mouse. Christ in bedrock again. Damn hell. See, I don't understand. I, I don't know if it's still this way. I remember when bedrock first became a thing. And buying bedrock would only get you bedrock. But buying Java would get you Java and bedrock. And they were the same price. Like, what are you trying to do, Microsoft? Are you trying to trick people and really annoy them? Makes no sense. Uh, you, you make a very valid point. Maps in the offhand seem really useful. I've never tried that before. That's something I should do. Like, there are so many rivers around here. I haven't seen one single shipwreck. Are they only in ocean biomes? Because if they were in any wet biome, like rivers, I should have seen one. Unless they've made them rarer. All right, uh, Roy, you said you had a raid target. Pippi Pipperton, I like your name. It has just the right amount of peas in it. Maki Moke. Unfortunately, Pippi, you have come at the last possible moment as I'm about to close up. You plan on streaming, Sinian? <laughs> Is that why you want me to stick around? Uh, Is there anybody else on that I would care to raid? Not particular. <laughs> LGL? Oh, LGL is on. That's adorable. I need to go check him out. I missed him yesterday. I don't have 30 more minutes in me, Sinian. <laughs> I should have been off an hour ago. I only really stuck around because Roy raided me. All right, well, let's make I'm probably going to raid, say hi, and ditch, and go say hi to LGL, and then go to sleep. I think that's going to be my plan. I'd raid LGL, but I think I'm going to encourage him to raid, 
to be on again tomorrow, so I can rate him then. Oh, you're gonna raid? You're gonna? Okay. Well, Sinian wants a raid. I think we can raid Sinian. I have not slept. No, I work third shift. I've been home for three and a half hours now. Uh, we're waiting on Sinian, apparently. I will gladly raid Sinian. Happens. I was. What even is he playing? Nuck, all I have to do for kittens is open my front door and they will swarm me. Yeah, I was watching. I was looking at Maki. I don't want to follow him right now because then I would have to stick around and chat and say hi. <laughs> that would just be awkward. It's been a day for weird raids, apparently. Roy trying to raid me when raids are apparently disabled on my stream. That was a thing. And now I'm waiting on Sinian to set up. <laughs> yeah, I don't really advertise. Um, I tweeted out. You were already streaming, obviously. So I doubt you check Twitter while you stream. The only reason I even do the twit the Twitter message is because of uh it's automated through OBS, so makes it really simple. I would put it on my own Discord, but nobody's in my Discord, so it would be pointless. I don't do self-promotion in other discords because every self-promotion in every other discord i have is muted that i'm in i never listen to them and i feel like most people should probably be doing that because it gets real spammy So as a professional streamer, or at least far more professional than I am, does it normally take this long to get a stream started? I guess... I literally have two sources in my OBS right now. I've, I've got the alert box and I've got the game screen and that's it. I don't have to set up anything else. I don't have to test anything. I don't fiddle with the microphone settings. Although to be fair, I have my microphone audio output set to really low because I speak very loudly. And I think that's the only thing that I bothered to actually set up.
All right. Sinian is live. I did not get notified that Sinian went live. That's bothersome. Thank you, Twitch. Well, thank you, Nock. Thank you, Roru, for sticking around. And there we go. Yes, sleep. Let's see if I can spell Sinian's name correctly without the autofill. There we go. Is that a seal or a walrus eating pizza? I very much approve of that. Later, everybody. <laughs>